of sunshine. How are you all doing out there today? I'm Michelle the introvert and today is a day in which I have gardening on my mind. Since we are now in spring I've been thinking heavier upon things concerning our vegetable garden and in preparation for the vegetable gardens and the vegetables that I'll be growing in the garden I ordered something interesting from Amazon and here's my Amazon bag. Some of you will recognize what's in this bag once I pull it out because I ordered the same thing last year about this time just to try it out and the product that I ordered turned out wonderful. It was a good investment so this year I've ordered some more so I'll show you what's in this bag. In this plastic bag, I have some reusable freezer bags. And this year I ordered small, medium, and large. Last year I just ordered medium and large, but I was so impressed with these products, these free reusable freezer bags, that I ordered some more in preparation for when the vegetables start growing, growing, growing in my vegetable garden. I'll take these out so you can get a better look. These are the small, and I'm excited about trying these for the first time. And these are the medium. You can see the size comparison right there. And I'll show you the large as well. This is the large, it's quite large. And these are terrific. They can all be washed by hand. And then last year I ordered one of these to go with it. This is the little drying rack to dry the bags on and I show I put one here already so you can see how they can dry like air dry by themselves. You just slide it on, slide it on there. And in this case I just used two two of these prongs to help it dry quicker. Yeah, I might order another one of these. We'll see. But for now one one will do the trick. But I wanted to show you what I have here. Like these will definitely save me some money because I can reuse them and wash them and just use them over and over and over again. So I'm really happy with this product. And like I mentioned earlier, once the vegetables start to grow and I use my food processor to cut it up and slice it up into small pieces, I can just put them in here and stick my prepared vegetables right in the freezer, ready to go in order to cook for dinner times. Yes. So I thought you'd be interested in seeing that. I'm happy to have them. I'm excited to have them actually. <laughs> and this large, it's a nice, a nice blue color. I have quite a few here, it's not just one or two larges. I have quite a few. So this will be great for the upcoming growing season, that's for sure. Joshua and I are planning on spending quite a bit of time in the garden this summer and I'm really hoping that this summer is warmer and drier but not too too dry. I, we, we do need some rain but we're hoping that it'll be sunnier than last summer because last summer 2023 here in Nova Scotia it rained and rained and rained for most of the summer and a lot of people's gardens just did not turn out. We were fortunate, I will admit, that we were able to get quite a bit compared to a lot of people. But for the most part, it was pretty wet. It was a pretty wet summer last summer. So hopefully, prayers being said, this summer is going to be a really great year for growing vegetables. So I want to show you something that Joshua and I picked up. Um, so that when we go out to the garden, we can keep our feet dry and keep our socks clean. <laughs> I'll show you. I have it on the floor right here. Okay. Oh, just a second here. Okay. Joshua wanted some rubber boots. 
These are nice. Joshua picked these up a couple of weeks ago. He's very, very happy to have them and they will definitely help help him in the garden. They're easy to, to put on, they're easy to take off. So he's glad to have these for the vegetable garden this year. And I'll show you what I picked up. Something similar. <laughs> look at these, look at all the colors, I love these. I picked these up at Walmart the same time that Joshua picked up his. These nice rubber boots, they'll keep my feet nice and dry if it's mucky out there or if it's wet out there. Keep my feet and socks nice and clean, easy to put on, easy to take off, perfect for gardening work. Yes, I'm so happy to have these. <laughs> The past little while I've been keeping my eyes open for vegetable seeds and I want to show you the last batch that I picked up. Just put my glasses on here. I picked up a couple of packages of lettuce and those are going to look really nice in a salad because there's a variety of colors there. So that'll be really really nice. And I also picked up a package of Swiss chard. Lots of nice greens for supper time. And I picked up a couple of packages of celery. Now last year I picked up some celery seeds, but with all the rain last summer, they just did not grow. Really, they didn't grow at all when I had them outside. I germinated them inside, just like I'm gonna do this year. But once I took the celery outside, the rain just washed them away. So I'm going to try celery again this year. This will definitely be a science experiment to see if they grow. And if they don't, well, lesson learned. But I'm still happy to have these. And I have another package of celery here. Oh, not celery, but lettuce. A couple of types of vegetables that seem to be a challenge for me to grow. And that is butternut squash. And I love butternut squash and I've tried to grow it before but unsuccessfully. <laughs> so I'm going to do some research just to see maybe what I'm doing wrong because I would love, love, love to be able to have some butternut squash. I don't know if where you are living if the prices of this type of squash has gone up but for me where I live here in Yarmouth, Nova Scotia, butternut squash used to be 89 cents a pound and the stores have tripled the price of squash. Yes, it's about $2.40 a pound now. Used to be 89 cents a pound. So it's getting very, very pricey. And so if I can grow some of these successfully, I will be very, very thankful because I love this squash. I love it. And when it's $2.40 a pound at the store, I just can't afford to buy it for that price. So, I'm going to do what I can to grow this this year. Hopefully I have success. Another thing that I find a challenge to grow, and I'll have to do a lot of research just to see what I'm doing wrong, I have trouble growing peppers for some reason. I have a struggle. These don't grow very well here for me, so I'm going to do what I can because peppers have been getting more and more pricey as well, and these are wonderful to freeze in the freezer. They're perfect for freezing. So I'm going to see and do what I can to see if I can get some peppers to grow. It will be quite a success story if I can succeed this year in getting peppers to grow. Now I will tell you a couple of success stories that I have in my vegetable gardens. And that is this yellow squash. What does it say on here? Yeah, early. I'm not wearing my glasses. Just one sec. <laughs> the yellow squash. I've grown this for a couple of years and it it grows beautiful 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 I usually get quite a harvest from my my plants early prolific straight neck and these do really good when I freeze them in the freezer as well and also zucchini grows really well oh boy oh boy these grow really really well in the garden and these freeze really well too so I'm going to be planting a lot of these because these are definitely success stories and it's very encouraging 
when these grow really, really well. Now I'll show you my display here <laughs> of all the seeds that I've picked up over the past couple months, over the past few weeks, a little here, a little there, but I'll show you what I have. today is something that I picked up at my P.O. box and it is a beautiful postcard and this is from Donna and David and Donna and David watch us quite a bit and I thank you Donna and David for watching our videos and for this beautiful postcard. They actually live in Ontario, Canada but as you can see they've been traveling. <laughs> Myrtle Beach. I've never been there before, but it looks beautiful, beautiful. And Don and David have a really nice message on the back here. And I'll read that to you and I'll read that in a little bit. But it's a very, very nice postcard. And I love receiving postcards. This is really nice. Thank you so much, Don and David. It is very, very nice of you to take the time to buy me a postcard. I love this one. This is beautiful. And I hope that you're both having a very relaxing, nice and warm. It's actually supposed to snow here in Nova Scotia tonight. So Donna and David, I hope you're nice and warm and enjoying your time at Myrtle Beach. I'm really happy that you're able to go on a vacation there. That's terrific. And thank you for thinking of us and sending us this beautiful Myrtle Beach postcard. Well, my friends, I want to thank you so much for joining me here today. I had a lot of spring thoughts on my mind, so I thought I might as well share my spring thoughts with all of you. You are very easy to talk to, and you're a good bunch, a very good bunch of friends. If you like this vlog, please, my friends, give me the YouTube thumbs up or press that subscribe button. That would be great. And I have more vlogs coming up, so stay tuned, and I'll talk to you all soon. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.